Welcome to Podcast Away. I'm your host, Tom Snooze, a celebrity you may faintly recall who desperately needs a reboot. What am I doing hosting a podcast, you ask? Well, I ask myself that every day, too. My agent thought it would be a good way to get my name back out there. If you're listening, Steve, it is not working. So, each week, I'm forced to be here, like a castaway, to discuss an up-and-coming podcast, helping thrust new stars into the limelight as I once was, while I stay here, a washed-up celebrity, suspended in time, and hoping for one last great role to come my way. Hey, pal, are you okay? We could come back another day. Yeah, seriously, this feels like it's gonna be weird. Hey, this is my show! I call the shots. Plus, I need the money. I suppose it's time to introduce our guest, then. Today's episode marks a point in my career where I truly cannot go any lower. I'm interviewing two complete unknowns who collectively and shamelessly refer to themselves as the Wonder Women, here to talk about their upcoming podcast, The Wonder Women. Uh, thanks, I guess. You know, you're pretty unknown, too, these days. Silence! Yeesh, okay. Now, let's get started. I've got to record a video cameo for an Indiana woman's 60th birthday party. Isn't that what D-list celebrities do who are strapped for cash? You know, I can't quite place what movie you were in. Hey, Fight Club, right? No and no. Obviously, that was Brad Pitt. Oh, right, right. Anyway, as I said, let's begin. (sighs) How would you describe the Wonder Woman podcast? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Each episode, we wonder a what-if question about the world. Like, what if we didn't have a moon? We use that question as a starting point to learn about how the world works. And then we set our imaginations free to wonder about all the different possibilities if that wonder were true. Like, what the world would be like if we really didn't have a moon. And it's not just your typical conversational or educational podcast. We jump between fiction and nonfiction. We have music, characters, sound effects, alternate universe scenes... In a nutshell, it's a sort of fantastical alternate universe production experience from start to finish. Sounds pretty lame to me. Dude, you invited us on this show. Technically, my producer did, and he has terrible taste! I hate to ask, but I have to. What inspired you to create this abomination? Well, we've always found ourselves wondering these what-if questions, followed by long conversations where we just got lost imagining the possibilities, and they're often pretty funny too, at least to us. And like a lot of people, our day jobs don't give us much opportunity to use our curious or creative sides. So making all of this creative content became a good way to tap back into that. And we hope our bits of wondering inspire listeners to use their imaginations and get more curious about the world around them too. Gross. I'm sorry I asked. Oh, I know. Were you in Inception? That was clearly Leo! Oh, voice. My bad, my bad. Moving on. Can you give us an idea of what goes into a typical episode of The Wonder Woman? It all starts with choosing our topic. We have an ever-growing master list of wonders kept under lock and key. Once we've chosen our wonder, then we do moderately extensive internet research. Right. Because before we can wonder about the alternate possibilities, we have to understand how the world works as it is. So, actually, there's a lot of learning involved. Science! And we do our research separately. That way we get to surprise each other with our thoughts and wonders while we're recording. Oh, isn't that sweet? Barf! Uh, ignoring that. So, there are two main sections of each episode. Sharing what we learned, and then using that to wonder about what the world could be like if that wonder was true. And to make it even more fun, we take on the personalities of fictional celebrity hosts. And we create a total fantasy intro for each episode, depicting a scene from a world with that wonder. And we do the same for our advertisements. If you're listening carefully, we've got a lot of Easter eggs in our episodes and media, so it just keeps building into this incredible Wonder Women universe. Making your own advertisements seems a little desperate. And all that sounds like an incredible amount of work for something with little to no payoff. So, exactly how many Wonder Women does it take to make the Wonder Women universe? Well, actually, the third and final member of the Wonder Women is a Wonder Man. He takes the two of us blabbing along and transforms it into a total universe. He creates sound effects, makes and mixes music, and turns all of our ridiculous ideas into a reality. Even at the cost of his sanity. He also creates all of our web art. Oh, and he made the website. 
So I guess whoever said that behind every two great women, there is one great man turned out to be spot on with that saying. That is definitely not a real saying. But with just three people, you've managed to make this entire wacky and wonderful universe? That's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, we're pretty impressed with ourselves, too. Oh, and they're humble, too. Freaking millennials. Uh, Sorry, didn't catch that. What did you say? Nothing. Men in Black. You were in Men in Black, right? Will Smith, are you freaking kidding me? Haven't you ever heard of Top Bun? Mission Possible? Majority Report? No, no, pretty sure you made all those up. Oh, I am so close to ending this show. Okay, stay calm. You need this job. You need this job. Okay, let's switch to a few questions from social media. Although no part of me believes these are real people, but here we go. First question at Wonderslut69 asks... If you had to pick three physical objects to represent your podcast, what would you choose? I'll go with Chameleon Wizard Laboratory. Mm, And I would pick Detective Fairy Dust Rucksack. Yeah? Go. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, well, what did Leo say? Did I get the part? No. Huh. And what did you say then, Steve? What do I pay you for? Ugh, I know, I know, but I'll get you a check this weekend. I promise it's coming. Yes, Steve, I'm doing the stupid podcast. I'm doing it right now. And these two birds are weird. Yeah, okay. Tell Aunt Susan hello. Yes, okay, I love her too. Uh, Okay, moving on. Next question, at What's in a Wonder Ball asks, what have been your favorite wonders to explore? I'd have to pick what if nipples were as long as fingers. The whole thing is just so strange. It starts with a slow-mo Baywatch scene with David Hasselhoff and his finger-length nipples. And it's, of course, a really funny topic, but it also goes into some serious wondering about nipple censorship, breastfeeding, and even the development of language. And I'd pick what if forest could move? Crazy! Moving forests! We learned about how trees really work and explored the impact moving forests would have on the evolution of animals and humans. And we had an incredible musical guest that week. Singer Sarah McLeaflin performing a charity song for abandoned trees. Really emotional. Absolutely absurd answers. So, I think we can all agree your name isn't that original. Which takes us to our next question from At The Boy Wonder 1940. Do the Wonder Women have any relation to a certain similarly named DC Comics superhero? And what are your real identities? So rude, Um, but no, no superhero relations. We just like the double meaning, that we're women who wonder, but you also have to wonder who these women are. But like superheroes, we did like the idea of painting the Wonder Women as these sort of larger-than-life figures who do the impossible and keep their true identities hidden. And to answer your second question, we choose to remain anonymous because A, one of us in particular has some extreme social anxiety, and B, there are just too many creepy chads out there who might overwhelm us with hate mail if they knew our real identities. And C, it's way more fun to give you fresh characters each week. Like in our episode about what if we ate our dead, we become Mother Chorizo and Amelia Eatheart. Oh, great. Celebrity pun names. So you're those kind of people. I've literally hit rock bottom. Hey, man, what's your problem? Everybody likes a good pun. Yeah, and if you don't, well, you're a Chad. Yeah. My name is Tom Snooze. (sighs) Well, I am happier than usual to say that's all the time we have for today. And I'm contractually obligated to read the following. If you're curious to learn more about the Wonder Women, follow them at Wonder Women Cast on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. And check out the WonderWomenPodcast.com. And be sure to tune into the universe premiere. What? Universe? Ugh, I hate these people. The universe premiere of their first episode, What If We Couldn't Fart, on June 9th, available wherever you listen to podcasts.